Good morning, everyone, to uh, the presentation today at Lifelong Learners on the benefits of massage therapy. Please welcome Rose Nowak. She is a licensed massage therapist. She's been in that business for 23 years. She owns the Better Living uh, Health and Wellness Spa. Massage and Wellness Spa. Massage yeah. and Wellness Spa. And um, she lives in Alpena with her husband, Roy, and two cats, Seamus and Charlotte. She is also uh, working on developing the Alpena Institute for Massage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please welcome Rose, and she will tell you all about the benefits of massage therapy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, uh, I guess where to start is that um, I'm going to start with some scientific research that um, it says that more than 80% of all diseases are due to stress and, and strain that originate in the mind and reflect on the body. Uh, we are experiencing more physical, chemical, and emotional stress in our lives now more than ever before. But the good news is, is that even if you're not aware of these stressors on your mind and body, there are numerous ways to mitigate their effects. But first, we're going to take a second and just define what stress is. So stress is our body's natu natural reaction to a stimulus or stressor that disturbs our physical or mental equilibrium. It's also commonly known as the fight or flight response. Uh, this response to life or death situations served us well as we evolved, allowing us to adapt and survive in dangerous situations, uh, i.e. caveman versus woolly mammoth. Um, when we experience stress, our body has a psychological response that include, it has many psychological responses. And those responses include an in, increased heart rate and pulse, uh, heightened muscle preparedness and tension, Increased blood pressure, rapid breathing, digestive system slowdown, immune system suppression, heightened alertness and lack of sleep, increased in cortisol production, which is your stress hormone. So you can see that stress really plays a toll on our body. Um, these reactions can be very beneficial in a dangerous situation, but Let's face it, anymore, we don't have to wear off tigers and woolly mammoths. So our body responds so that the necessary functions for immediate survival are enhanced. But once the danger has subsided, our body was not meant, to, our body is meant to return to homeostasis or a place of balance. So the problem is that in today's culture with this fight or flight mechanism is turned on continually. And in everyday situations, we don't need that level of response. So if we think back to the list, uh, some of them were lack of sleep, immune system suppression, high blood pressure, slower digestion. We can see that we're living with many of these responses on a regular basis. The problem is, is that when we're exposed to this type of stress continually over time, it has a chronic effect and can lead to subpar performance and breakdown of various internal organs all the way down to a cellular level, which is where disease come in or disease. Uh, researchers have identified common health problems, problems associated with chronic stress. Those include headaches and migraines, increased muscle tension, depression. I see a lot of people shaking their heads like they feel this, anxiety, gastrointestinal problems, hypertension, arthritis, diabetes, and again, lack of sleep. These are issues that affect members of all generations, uh, but coupled with the process of aging, stress can be very detrimental. So how do we undo the damage of stress that has wreaked havoc on our body? A great place to start is with massage therapy. That noise you just heard was Kim. She dropped a bamboo, which somebody is experiencing a, sorry, you're not here to see it, but somebody's experiencing a chair massage right now with Kim. I should introduce Kim. I know she's not on camera, but uh, Kim Bulinowski is a massage therapist at um, Better Living Massage and Wellness. She's been with me for seven going on eight years. Good grief. 
and um, she is fabulous. So um, she's also going to be one of the instructors at the Institute of uh, the Alpina Institute of Massage. So moving forward, um, how massage therapy benefits us beyond the obvious benefits uh, like relaxation, uh, therapeutic massage has been shown to decrease stress in the body and lessen the negative effects of anxiety, depression, and digestive orders. According to Mayo Clinic, studies of the benefits of massage demonstrate that it is an effective treatment for reducing stress, pain, and muscle tension. The benefits of massage thereby are very wide ranging from increasing blood flow to the limbs, supporting the body's immune and nervous system, massages of versatile therapy. From stroke recovery to improving balance, the benefits of massage therapy are seemingly boundless are seemingly boundless. But because our time is limited, we're only gonna focus on a few of the uh, benefits of massage therapy. And we're gonna focus primarily on the ones that um, benefit seniors, or as I like to call it, experienced adults, myself included. <laughs> so we're gonna, um, we're gonna start with um, the increase of blood flow to the limbs. As massage therapy involves kneading and light gentle stroking and application of light pressure on various parts of the body, it helps with improving the body's circulation. Proper blood circulation is crucial as inadequate flow of blood can lead to many health issues that may get severe over time. Things like uh, neuropathy, peripheral artery, artery disease of the legs, and blood clotting and diabetes. These are just some of the health complications that are caused by poor blood circulation. Increasing the circulation is an important benefit for seniors. Good circulation can become increasingly difficult as we age and massage therapy really helps with that flow of the blood into the limbs. I know my mom suffers from neuropathy horribly because of uh, her diabetes and I'm often, that's one thing when every time I go there, she's like, just massage my feet. So, and she really gets a lot of relief from that. Another uh, benefit is that it improves balance and gait. Um, falling is constantly listed as one of the top concerns for seniors as our bones tend to become weaker as we get older. Due to massage ability to increase that blood flow that we just talked about, um, it helps to improve proprio proprioception or the sense of relative position of body parts, thus improving our balance and reducing our chances of falling. Uh, another benefit is that it softens hard muscle tissues. As we age, we generally become less active, so our muscles harden and get tighter. Arthritis settles in and we move less, causing muscles to become stiff and tendons and ligaments to become tight. Think of a rubber band that loses its elasticity. You know, when you first get a rubber band, you can pull it and pull it and it, it'll do everything you want it to. And then that one time you go and it snap, snaps because maybe it sat in a drawer for a little while or something and you're like, oh, here's my rubber band and you go to use it and it breaks. That's very similar to how your tendons and ligaments work when they're not getting that blood flow and that movement that keeps them lubricated, they tend to get tightened. And that's when you see situations like frozen shoulders or um, ankle pain or um, just a, a plethora of uh, injury and uh, discomforts. Uh, massage helps to soften muscles and tissues by increasing that blood flow and making connective tissue more pliable. <coughs> Excuse me. On a side note, however, massage isn't ever going to cure arthritis. It does help relieve the painful aching conditions. It focuses on increased blood flow to the joints and warming affected areas, has proven benefits and pain relief for those suffering from massage so, or from arthritis. So if you are someone who does have arthritis, I would highly recommend you consider massage. Um, to help get some relief. Uh, massage also um, produces feelings of caring and comfort. 
Uh, this is probably one of my most favorite benefits, I have to say. Um, some people enjoy massage because it can produce feelings of a caring and create a connection. Uh, a lot of people are actually what they call touch deprived due to less, um, maybe they don't, um, their spouse has passed away or um, you know, their children don't live with them anymore. They're not visiting as frequently. They're not getting out as much. Uh, so the touch of massage can help them to relax and comfort them, which is huge, huge, huge. Um, touch has been proven to provide comfort to the elderly, especially since so many of them are deprived of it, which I've already said. Um, it can help improve mental health, alleviating depression and anxiety. Another side note, um, this is just a little fun fact, uh, but did you know that touch is the first sense we develop and it begins at about eight weeks of um, development? Uh, that's probably why massage feels so good. It is as um, you are born, it's the absolute very first um, sense that you will experience when you're pulled out that and I think that's why we find so much comfort in it. Um, massage also stimulates our nervous system. It releases endorphins, hormones and neurotransmitters that are beneficial for the functioning of the nervous system. Research has continually supported that claim showing how therapeutic massage helps produce hormones that have enormous benefits on the body, including ser serotonin and dopamine, which we call the happy hormone. I love it that it's dopamine, happy, dopey. Um, it can offer, also offer quicker healing from injuries and illnesses. Um, this is again, very huge as we age, we, um, tend to have more injuries as we as our joints and muscles tend to get tightened uh, it can lead to a difficulty in healing from the injury because of our range of motion is restricted <coughs> massage keeps muscles connected to you joints tendons ligaments more fluid and even less prone to injury in the long run she's done if anybody else wants to partake Research, recent research on stroke patients. This one, this is very interesting too. Um, it used to be that um, bed rest was prescribed for up to 48 hours after a stroke for fear of triggering another one. But the stance now has flipped. Um, following a stroke, seniors are advised to get up and moving again. A major aid to this is massage therapy because it stimulates the affected areas, focusing on anything that might be paralyzed. So I find that increasing the blood flow that they were once afraid could cause another stroke is they're finding now through research that it's very beneficial for stroke um, patients. Another uh, benefit would be increased flexibility. We all know that as we age, our muscles tighten uh, due to inactivity, and it's important to help those muscles relax. Massage therapy will help to soften those muscles and joints, enabling a wider range of motion in the activities of daily living. That's one of the, um, the saddest things that I see, and I tend to work a lot. Uh, a lot of my clients are, um, I would say the average would be about 75 for my clientele. And a lot of them really struggle with those um, uh, activities of daily living and like things like just taking stuff out of the oven or moving a laundry basket or, or even using the restroom, getting in and out of the shower and stuff. So they, they, they come because they can get the relief and the um, range of motion that they're looking for to be able to continue doing those things. Uh, Massage will offer physical and mental relaxation. Massage has been shown to decrease the unhealthy buildup of cortisol. That's the non-happy hormone. Um, it's all called the stress hormone in the body. Uh, it, uh, hang on one second, please. I'm getting caught up in my words. But uh, uh, it allows the body to enter a state of rest and rejuvenation period. 
This helps to improve sleep. People who receive weekly massage report that they are sleeping more deeply and for longer lengths of time. This results in an overall feeling of better health as the body is being allowed more time to repair itself. <clears throat> so in, uh, this is going by a little faster than I hope. So uh, anyways, uh, one of the, the very, my most uh, favorite things that um, I find for massage uh, is that it helps with the agitation due to Alzheimer's disease which to me is the most unfair uh, disease that someone can have. But studies have shown that slow massage strokes along the back of Alzheimer's patients can help alleviate some of the agitation uh, expressions that come with the disease, like wandering, pacing, and resisting. Um, it helps to calm them so they can settle down. And again, we're going to go back to that feeling and that comfort of touch and how um, soothing it can be. So uh, as you can see, there are many, many benefits to massage therapy. And then when you couple, couple that with other complementary therapies, maybe like yoga, light exercise, swimming, Tai Chi, meditations, you can help to alleviate stress and increase the quality of your life. And just a, another important side note here is that um, while these things can help make you feel better and live better, they are not by any means a substitute for medical care. Yeah, you um, need to always be in touch with your primary healthcare physicians, as well as your massage therapist, your yoga instructor, your swim instructor, whoever. But um, that honestly is all I have. So we only did about 25 minutes, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, we're both here. If anybody else would like a massage, we'll stick around a little longer. Uh, Rose, I have a question sure. related to the information you gave regarding stroke victims. Mm -hmm. So what they've decided now let, uh, is that if they were to massage, let's say someone who had a stroke, and now it appears that the right side is paralyzed, mm -hmm. that massage therapy given in a timely manner would perhaps alleviate some of that. Um, I don't know that it, that that's what their research is showing that it would alleviate it, um, but it used to be that um, when someone had a stroke, it was like no, 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 no. And of course, you always want to make sure that they're clear of blood clots and everything like that. But it can aid in the mobility somewhat. I don't think like it's going to reverse it no. entirely, but it could aid in the mobility somewhat. And even if they don't get it, the the um, uh, movement back in, in the limb or on the right side, keeping those joints pliable will keep, could keep them from you know, cramping up and the, um, the other effects that come along with stroke. Well, my father had a stroke. And oh, I'm sorry. He, um, well, due to his own stubbornness, he was too late to get whatever that medicine is that mm -hmm. they would give you that would stop that blood clot. Mm -hmm. So then of course there he is. Mm -hmm. His right side is paralyzed, mm -hmm. but he does very well. He's still alive and he still drives and oh, he had been hard. going to the pool and yet he doesn't live up here, he lives downstate. But oh, that's anyway, hard. the idea of touch therapy and gentle stroking or even mm -hmm. more aggressive stroking that, that kind of is very interesting. Yeah, it, it can help to, you know, like I said, relieve some of that tension, frustration. That's a huge one. And um, just give them back a sense of, um, uh, I don't want to say belonging, but a sense of interaction, I guess, mm -hmm. would be the best word to that, use for yeah, that. that. Well, maybe this is going to work out okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not here by myself. Exactly, exactly. Okay, Good. well, thanks. That You're was very welcome. Very wonderful information, very. Yeah. Good, I'm, I'm glad. About how all these 
tensions that we live with every day and it's just you know yeah and, and you don't have to another. that's the beauty of it you don't yeah. have to and if you don't do something uh proactive about it right then it's you, only going to get worse yeah you end up with uh you're just you're hunched over mm -hmm. and your head hurts and your mm -hmm. fingers hurt and, yeah and i'll be very honest with you i mean obviously when you're when you're working with somebody um who's um experienced uh, <laughs> uh and I don't mean that as a therapist, but you always want an experienced therapist, but I mean that in life, mm -hmm. a someone who's more mature, let's say. Um, you know, if, they, if they're coming in and they've not had a massage, like anybody who's, who's listening to this, you know, we're, you may feel some discomfort at first. That's not unheard of, but it shouldn't be miserable. That's one thing, but it's the more you do it, the easier it becomes. So it's just kind of like, like ex exercise really, or anything yeah. else, you know? So it's relaxing and yet stimulating at the same time. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. We have people who come out, um, you know, some of them come out and they're ready to go run a marathon. Other of them come out and they're, you know, like, oh, well, I want to go take a nap. <laughs> yeah, can I just stay in this room for another hour, you know? So um, it, it all depends on, uh, what the, what the person is looking for in the yeah. massage really okay well thank you rose very very much you're very very welcome anything you want to offer yeah. okay and judy she's busy she's sleeping she's busy relaxing <laughs> yes so thank you again rose and that's um uh let me ask this question sure. this is important at this time how far out are you booking massages uh, well <laughs> October um Kim January. and I are Jan are okay. January yeah. yeah okay I have yeah. been to uh your health and your massage wellness better living, yeah, better living <laughs> yes. several years ago uh -huh. um and at that time as I said you could call and get a yeah an appointment a week out yeah but now we're talking six months yeah yeah okay in in um you know where I, I always kind of cringe when I say this. Um, I mean, we were busy before COVID hit, but um, COVID for our particular industry has really helped because people that helped our industry, which I guess, you know, every industry needs a boost now and then, no matter how it comes, ours was with COVID. I mean, it, it sounds sad to say, but that's the truth. But I think what happened was that people we're looking for one a way to relieve stress because it was a very stressful and still is a very stressful still period is. of time yes. and two they wanted to heighten their immune system and massage is you know research well, shows yeah. that it is very wow. beneficial for heightening the immune system so um yeah well stress really What's your immune system in oh, no go? It's 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 horrid. Yeah. It, it's horrid, it's really which bad. is yeah. And that's why I, I recommend. I mean, some people might not be in, into massage or whatever. And if that's the case, yeah. sorry. Um, yeah. but uh, <laughs> you must not have the right therapist. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, some people just aren't. But that's why I also, you know, other complementary things like Tai Chi or yoga anything that will help settle the mind because it's the mind is wow it's powerful it's in control it it, <laughs> it so. is it is yeah okay i have one other question okay, sure. yeah related to your alpina massage institute okay so is this a brainstorm that you you're looking to expand your business or you're looking to try to train therapists so for this, your business well it is actually going to be a school it'll be called the alpina institute of massage we will train uh people to be uh licensed massage therapists um the one thing i want to really uh uh drive home is that it is not the better living massage school this is yeah we want to keep them very separate they we want to people separate. to know yes. that it is the uh alpina northeast michigan michigan wherever you come from we welcome all we just want 
qualified massage therapist. We, like we said, we're, we're, yeah. we're booked out till August. I've been booked or till January. I've been booked for this entire year since last January, since the beginning right. of the year. So yes, and I know uh, that. <clears throat> excuse me. So we want to just train qualified therapists where they go to work, 100% up to them. Okay, but, but then you, you have your finger in the pie to make sure that in fact, they're being well trained. Yes. Okay, that's yes, yeah. that, that is what I think that's a great idea. Thank you. Just Thank really you. Um, it's been kind of in in the back of my head. It's been thrown at me, you should do this, you should do this. And then um, I don't know, it, it just woke up one day and said, yeah, this is where I need to be. This is, thank you, Jesus, because this is where I need to be going. Like, <laughs> well, as successful as your business is, and as thank difficult you. as it is to find people who are qualified, that's the next step. And it's very, it's very hard for uh, this area mm -hmm. to, um, you know, to be able to do school like this because it's usually um you know you have to leave home or whatever and it's not always convenient so yeah. i know when i went to school i went to saint ignace which wasn't far and it was every other weekend which made it convenient but not everybody you know has that opportunity so having something home here in alpena where we can service the whole northeast uh side of michigan and all the way over to Traverse City, which I believe is the closest school to us. So, yeah, yeah. I know I went to uh, I went to St. Ignace, and then two years later, I did medical massage in Traverse City, and it was, okay. you know, driving back and forth twice a week. It was wow. not fun, but you know, you do what you do. So we're hoping to make it a little bit more convenient. And then with that, we're because we ha we're required to have continuing education as a licensed massage therapist. We're okay. also wanting to bring in continuing education so that once we train them, they don't still don't have to travel, you know, hundreds, thousands of miles to keep up with their continuing education. So we're working on all of that. Okay. With this training that you're doing, as the students progress with their training, are you going to open up sessions for them to work on patients to come in? And <laughs> we, as um, kind of like part of their education yes, training? Yes, there will be. Uh, they do have um, 100 hours of clinical uh, massage that they have to do where the public will come in um, and get receive massage from the students. Oh, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. That'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're actually hoping then too to be able to provide massage for more people. So um, I know not. You know, that so, would be nice. Yeah. yeah. So and it'll be at a, a discounted rate because they're students. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to probably have to limit that because we do have some very successful massage businesses in town and we don't want to take away from that by having people coming in solely for clinical massage at a discounted rate so we might have to limit it to two or three per semester or whatever uh those got that guideline hasn't been uh set in stone yet but we don't we definitely don't want to take away from any of the businesses that are are you know currently doing great things so well, it sounds like you've thought this well through so um Good. yeah we're <laughs> anything yeah. judy do you have anything you'd like to offer <laughs> yeah <laughs> and and there are other therapists there we have 10 massage therapists at better living wow. so um you might not be able to get in with kim and i but you should you know somebody else could definitely get you in and help you out. They're all fabulous. I, I have been blessed with an amazing staff of. Oh, Rose, thank you so very much. Wealth of information. Oh, thank you. Okay. It was so my you, pleasure. I hope that we see each other again. Uh, I do too. <laughs>